During my time in this intro to education class, I've learned lots about what it means to be a teacher and how to excel as a teacher. At the beginning of this class, I learned what being a teacher was and what skills teachers must have. There are many important skills that teachers must have, and I think the five C's we learned about cover those very well. Being caring, committed, conscious, courageous, and centered is what makes a good teacher. Showing kids that you are there for them and helping them feel at home in a classroom makes the learning environment more welcoming for the students. While teaching is a profession people choose, it should be for those who want to connect with the students and who want to make a difference in the lives of those children. Another important topic I learned about in this class is focusing on what type of learner the children are. Children come from all different backgrounds. There will be children of different ethnicities, children who are English learners, children with different religious beliefs, children with different sexual orientations, and many other backgrounds. I think one of the most important things I learned about the children from different backgrounds was how to work with those that are English learners. There are many different ways to go about working with English learners, such as speaking more slowly, using visuals to help them understand, and possibly even using another student who is fluent in English but also knows the student's native language to help the English learner. Another interesting topic that we covered was teaching in a digital world. While technology is a wonderful thing for students, some parts of it, such as cell phones, have been a problem schools have had to face. However, most schools have policies about cell phones and set aside certain times, such as lunch and in between classes, for students to have access to their phones. One of the greatest ways technology adds to a kid's learning experience is through all the information you're able to find on the internet. While I never thought about this, there are billions of pictures that show buildings, artifacts, and other visuals that students decades ago only got to hear about and never see. All the information students have now is a privilege because at one point in time, those who were in school did not have access to it. While on my journey to become a teacher, I can see quite a few challenges that I might face. One of the biggest challenges I think I'll face during my journey though, is making sure that I'm an effective student teacher. I know that the teacher that I'm assigned will, will guide me through what to do, but I need to make sure that I always remember what I've learned in classes such as this, so that I am well prepared for how to best educate and work with the children. Looking back to my days in school, I think of all the ways technology evolved as I got older and as I got to high school, I used technology almost every day. While this was a tough transition for me, technology is what the world has come to instead of using a paper and pencil all the time. When I have my own classroom, I envision myself using technology every day with the kids, no matter what grade level. One way I might use technology in my classroom is with warm up activities for the children. I'll be able to put them on websites such as Quizlet and Kahoot and assign them activities about the content that we've been covering during that week. Another way I plan to use active Another way I plan to use technology is with programs like IXL to give the students classwork and homework about what we've been learning to make sure they've mastered the content. I want my children to feel comfortable with using technology and give them chances to use it on their own, but also in group work. After all, technology is the future, so making my children use it every day is very important to me.